calls. And that's it. Exactly. As you were saying, Saud, after they have the, the options of these two bars, they can ask any more for, for this. And bar works as, as in soccer. They, they yeah. check the replay in slow motion and decide if, if only a piece of the plate is broken, then it's a, a good hit the target. It's a video assistant referee. And I think it's not even just a piece. Even if smoke comes out of the target, like a, the, the dust that is in the target, the pink dust, if any visual evidence of that is on the target in replay, it is a point. Exactly, you, you, are, you are right. In this final, different from the quali qualification process, the target has a smoke, uh, normally it's pink or orange, and, and if it goes out, it's a, a hit the target. It counts as a point. Usually qualification such targets, you, you don't get a point unless you have a visual broken, broken piece. Exactly, but. exactly. It helps the final to to be 100% sure for the referees and jury members if it's a, a broken target or not, or it's a point given. A commenting on the representative of the nations, in the United States we have Kelly Brown, who recently won a silver medal in the last Olympic Games in Tokyo. She's a really experienced athlete. Uh, and in Guatemala, they, they took part as well in the Pan American Games here in the same this place in the 2019. Both teams uh, were in Lima in 2019, so they already know this, this venue. It's a beautiful venue because they, they've been here before, I think, during the Pan Am yeah. Games, right? Exactly, you're right. They, they were here, they, they already know the range, and they, they shoot a few days before. Yesterday, they shoot the the final. single, yeah, yeah the, the final, they and the them. single competition, so they already know. Uh, they this, yeah. Kaylee Browning won a won a medal yesterday. I exactly, think. Kaylee Browning. Actually, she was second, I believe. Yeah, she yeah. she won a silver medal. So she entered into the individuals trap women event, uh, got into the semifinal first, and then made it uh, her road into a great final and achieved a silver medal. It, w it was an interesting final. It took a long time too. It, it does. It was, it it was a marathonic final for like. Yeah, but <laughs> but there you see the athletes, the focus of the athletes, yeah. the preparation of them to continue focus, target by target until the very very end. I was thinking with a long final like that, when using the VAR, like you haven't coach shooter has not used the VAR the whole final. Some of the coaches. That's true. Yeah. I mean. The United States of America, they use all of the the bar uh, chances, but there were all uh, coaches that they didn't ask for bar. Yeah. And uh, Coach Jay Waldron actually won a few clays while using the VAR for his shooters. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, we're going to begin in a few minutes. The athletes are already on their places. They already checked the targets before. They, they are prepared, so it's going to, to begin in a few minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, the organizing committee of the ISSF World Cup Lima Peru 2022 and the ISSF welcome you at the beautiful shooting range here in Lima for the gold medal match. The band is Trap Women Teams. Let's welcome the team of Guatemala. Being represented by Ruano Oliva Adriana, Soto Abril Anabalesca, and Goetze Davila Stephanie. And their coach, Pedro Martin Fariza. On position number one, Let's welcome the team of the United States of America, being represented by Kaylee Browning, Ariel Alice Skinner, and Rachel Leichen Tossier, and their coach, Jay Waldron. The referee in charge is Luis Valladares from Puerto Rico, and the jury member, Fernando Bonelli from Peru. So the final is about to begin. Uh, let's explain to people how it works. So it's like 
each of one, each of the athletes is going to hit one target, and I mean five targets in total, and there are three three members that represent the team, so it's going to be 15 targets before we see which team gets the very first points. So basically, uh, the total is compared to the total of the other team, and the team with the higher total gets two points. The team, you know, the other team doesn't get any points, but if they're equal, the team gets one point. Oh, so the representative of the United States just, just missed, missed the first, first target. target. Yeah. And she she's the one that we were talking before. Yeah. The American who won yesterday the silver medal in the single match. Uh, yeah, we were. That's a VAR call. But <coughs> I think coach they, they didn't ask for it. Because he actually, I don't know, but I saw a break. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> But the referee believed it was a missed target. No, actually. I know, they actually give it. Uh, they gave a her the one. break, yeah. Okay. The, the coach actually gave her the break. The referee gave her the break, actually. <coughs> Guatemala with a hit. Yeah, both of the first Guatemalan members, they hit the target. So we have uh, Wales Casoto. And it's a missed target for Soto uh, from I, Guatemala. I could see her biceps like really stretching. She was kind of tense in that shot. But it, it happens sometimes. No They're elite athletes, but when you start a final like this, a gold medal match, you, you, you could be nervous you know, at the beginning, at the very beginning. Then you enter into, the into only, momentum. The only thing you can do is, is go through your pre-shot routine. If you're too nervous, you just have a longer routine and you, you really go through the routine. Like uh, Browning came back really well got her target you just stick to your routine stick you you know to your technique yeah that's true yeah. he hit perfectly the the left upper target yeah. that's a break the targets i don't know they're smoking but they're not breaking yeah. Yeah. so they, they they give her a point or give it yeah they gave her a point as okay. long as the target smokes the visual smoke comes out of the target she's given a point It's up till now, it's a tight competition, and we have uh, Go ah. Gotesk. No target. She got a no target. She, she has to reset her mental status Ready? and go on to call for the second target. The timer is stopped. You, Saud, as a professional shooter, what ah. do you believe when, when the, the machines broke the target before you even had the chance to, to shoot? You have to repeat, right? You have to reset. You have to reset and, and go through your routine. I don't know why some coaches like I see I saw a target smoke for Guatemala right now and I did not see the coach call for the VAR. I I don't know maybe because they only have two ask for VAR maybe they they are waiting for the very end to ask for it. No, they are saving the opportunity. It doesn't matter. You just need to get one at least if it's a point and you're sure of it. Ask for the VAR. That's true, but they. Coaches seem to believe that the last targets are the, the most important ones, but it doesn't matter at the very end. Every a target point counts. Point. Every exactly. target counts. But as I was saying, maybe they are saving the bar chances for the well, very, very end. They could be very technical with the teams and, and the bar calls because if they see that they're already losing this round for two points, they can forget about the bar and use it when it counts for like the last shot on, a, on another sequence of 15 targets. Yeah, that's true. So the U.S. is having the lead right now. Yeah. It's two targets ahead from Guatemala. Skinner setting up. Don't you think that it's strange for this I World don't Cup like Lima? it when they shoot the clays. The, when they shoot the broken clays, for me, it, it messes up my timing from a target. I, I don't like to shoot it. It's really yeah. difficult. Yeah, that's true. It requires a lot of focus. This you is see, why. This see. is why I don't like to shoot the pieces when exactly. they're broken. Exactly. It's true. It makes it ruins much, your timing. Yeah. yeah. It makes much much more difficult to uh, to an athlete to shoot again. Wow. So I think the U.S. is very much in the lead. That's true. With uh, only three targets left, 
it seems that the point is won already because if Guatemala get all their I targets, I wouldn't they say that. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Guatemala, they have uh, no, three the targets to round, defeat. But you see the scoreboard, I think. Yeah. It's 15 targets, right? That's true. So there are the three targets left, and Guatemala need to shoot get all three targets. Oh. Yeah. The range is stopped, actually. Oh. What's happening right now? So the referee asked for the target because it was broken many, many times, and the athlete has to wait until the machine is throwing the target, the plates uh, good again. Those right? machines have their mind of, of, of their own, but it's been doing that since yesterday. The same machine. Oh. Well, that's good for Guatemala because it keeps them in the game. That's true. Uh, Target. Another no target. Ready? Beautiful weather today for shooting. It no is target. actually really sunny, not that windy, which wind wind makes it much much more difficult to hit the target, right? Carlos, do you think the targets are too afraid to come out? <laughs> <laughs> May, maybe it could be. Yeah. They are two great that, shooters. That was a hit target. Yeah. They, they don't want to be hit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and that's a missed target for Soto from Soto. Guatemala. No, they give, give it right. I so now the they are back on track. Guatemala is back on track. Yes, but if the U.S. gets this, I think it's done for. Yeah. It's done for. For this for this round, they get two points. And a missed target. Oh my god. So what happens if, if they are equal in points? So it's, it's a hit. If they're equal in hit, so it's one point for each, right? I think we need our eyes checked, Carlos. <laughs> so U.S. wins two points at this round because even if they score this, it's 13 to 12. That's true. <laughs> 13 hits for the United States of America and 11 hits for Guatemala. This is two points for the USA. Ladies and gentlemen, let's have a great atmosphere during the final. Show your support to the athletes and enjoy the competition. Start. Athletes are setting up for their second The old ones hit the target. Mm, I'm saying if they hit perfectly, they're three shots. They put the U.S. shooters under pressure because, like, you're chasing them afterwards. That's true. And we see it right, we away. See that right away. So, Kaylee Browning, the, the gesture silver medalist of the single trap event, she just missed the target. Back to Guatemala. They can put the pressure on if they go on straight again. You kind of see it from the bottom language. Oh, and that's a miss. That's oh. a miss, yeah. Okay. No, the, the referee gave it good. Ah. Hit it. We should not give hits and misses because obviously the monitoring monitor is the monitor is covering our you know visual for that one. That's true. <laughs> and that's a hit. So Guatemala. It's Go perfect of again, yeah. No target. No target. Ready. So Browning is resetting, going through her shot routine. No target. 
No, there's no, no target. target once again. She has the right to call for a target right now to check. Yeah, she could do that. She could do that. She could ask the referee to do that. And she missed again. She misses again, yeah. The same as, as the, the target before. Yep. So she put the pressure and, uh, yeah. and she missed. As I previously said, I, I, I don't like it when someone goes for the pieces because it's a different trajectory. It sets you off. That's true. When you go for the second shot. So we're going to see how Ariel does in this one. She goes through perfectly for this one. This is what I told you. The pressure on you when you shoot second, it's a different sense of pressure. It's like much more comfortable when you go in first and shooting. 100%. Because you're done with your shot. You're done with it. You don't think about anything else. Ready? And for those that are watching this transmission, the athletes only have one cartridge. So it's one chance to hit the target. In qualification <laughs> process, they have two cartridges for one target. Yeah, they're allowed two shots per target during qualification, and final it's just one shot per so target. So it, it makes it much, much more difficult for finals. Only one shot for one target. One loss for Guatemala, so... So the U.S. could... Could come back. It's could come back, it's right? It's, it's still uh, anyone's game till now. But they have a buffer of one target lead right now. You see the body language. You see the confidence if they're ready or not. Yes, you, you could predict if, if she's going to miss or hit the target, right? It's just a prediction. It, it is, It's actually. just a it prediction. It, 800 points. Especially the coaches know their shooters better. They, they know all the little stuff they do. They kind of know when they're gripping too hard because they're shooters. They, you know, they're the coaches. They see them shoot every day. In the U.S., Miss again. Miss again, yeah. The referee gave it a good target. He he gave it as a shot. Okay. Honestly, I think the. I would like VAR just to check. Yeah, but but the coach <laughs> didn't ask for it. Yeah. I don't know if it's allowed to check if it was a shot or not. I mean, like as I was saying coach, before, yeah. maybe they are saving the VR options yeah. for the for later on. Yeah. It's a miss for Guatemala once again. Goetze could make it. Let's see how Soto reacts. Oh. Browning setting up, getting her hold point. Oh. It is a tie. Oh. Yeah, it, it is a tie. But Not a tie anymore. Not anymore. The U.S. misses the last target. So it's one more target to go, right? Yeah. It's uh, three, yeah, three more targets for the team, one more target for each shooter. Uh, so if uh, Guatemala go perfect, they ah. win two points. They call that the commentator curse. <laughs> and it's a hit target. So Guatemala have secured a point if U.S. go straight. Two more to go. So the U.S. needs to go straight to actually secure a tie and secure one point and keep the lead. So it's a lot of pressure on the next two shooters. No target. Ready? Mm -hmm. It depends on her if the U.S. equals the points of Guatemala and secures it's one point. It's very important because they keep Guatemala back there. And she hits the target. 12 hits for the United States of America and 12 hits as well for Guatemala. It's one point for each.
the U.S. continues on the lead. Uh, you know, they're, they're all top elite shooters. They all have shot World Cups, Olympics, and they all know how to break the targets. That's true. And now the U.S. will start again, so they switch once again. Yes, now it's a switch. I see that it's a timer over there in sets like 12 or 14 seconds. It's 12 seconds, so they got to get ready, be ready for the shot within call for it within 12 seconds. So what happens if, if they take more time than, than the allowed time? They get a yellow card, they get cautioned for being late, and if they do that again, they get a clay uh. deduction. Okay. Okay. So the U.S. Yeah, Kelly Brown missed once again. And Skinner hits it barely, oh. just a little piece of that target. These five targets for each athlete, it's very, very important because if Guatemala wants to continue in competition, they have to win this one. If not, the U.S. will have four points ahead and it will be very, very close uh, to win this gold medal match. If, if they tie, it's going to be two points for Guatemala and four points for the U.S. And if uh, Guatemala win this, it's going to be a tie in, in the number of points, three to three. Exactly. It will be a more interesting competition if uh, Guatemala win this, then it's going to be a longer final. 100%. Because... The people that are watching this transmission, probably they, they want Guatemala to win this one to see a longer final and a more competitive one. It could be, yeah. I like to watch the finals because it, it's a different representation of the sport for the world. It's actually, I only wish there would be like highlights of the qualifications so they could see how hard these athletes worked and what they went through to get into this final. 100%. So how, how was the qualification process to get in this gold medal match? So they shoot, I, I believe they shoot 75 targets each on the previous round to enter into the gold medal match, right? Yeah. How they is the process? They, sh they shoot their qualification and I think they shoot an extra 50 clays. So a total of, of 175 clays to get into the final. So we're seeing the very best of this World Cup in Lima 2022. Guatemala and U U.S. make it till the gold medal match. Oh. Well, Guatemala are putting the pressure on the U.S. They're keeping it straight. The pressure's on Browning right now. It's like handing a pressure stick to to the next shooter the moment you do well. Because it's all on them to go through with the shot. Oh. It seems they are handling the pressure, right? They are. Uh. After this gold medal match of women trap event, then we will have the bronze medal match of men's trap event and the gold medal match for men's trap event as well. Two events, yep. trap it's a different sport than ski it's a much more smaller precise movement towards the target oh. and it's a different visual acquisition of the target so as a shooter you actually oh. track the target and trap from behind till you reach it which which is different from ski and skeet shooting you actually go ahead and lead the target in most of the shots that's true and we as commentator we have Saud which is a skid shooter yep. and myself Carlos Bosa who is a trap shooter so it's very complete yeah, all of the yeah. options we we can tell you and yes in in trap which is the 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 sport that we're seeing right now the trap shooting it comes from underground right right and in skid it comes from the right to left and left to, and to right it cabins it usually comes from above it's never from underground it is it is yeah. You actually, in this final, you can see the low house and high house for Skeet. 
on the right and left side of the field. I would say the only target for Skeet that looks like a trap target would be the Station 7 low. That's Because it true. comes from uh, behind and under you. It's the only target that kind of looks like a trap target in that's the whole true. Skeet range. Exactly, that's true. So it's the same sport, but two different types of shooting, different techniques, and even different types of guns. So they are the same brands, but, but it's... They're set up differently. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Usually in a trap gun, you need the, the, the gun generally to shoot a higher point of aim than a skeet gun because the target's usually going up. You know, you need to cover the lead that's going up. So usually trap guns shoot a 70, 30% pass round. And Guatemala is doing very, very well. All the targets hit it. Yeah, and you can see in... Um, some of the guns, I think, like uh, Browning's gun, has a little adapter on the barrel where she can set the point of impact on her barrel. She hits with, with Krikov, right? Yeah, I think she and uses a Krikov. And other common brands, brands are Beretta and Perasi, right? It's the ones they are using, I believe. Yeah, all guns shoot. It's, it's the shooter at the end that, that kind of gets it's the target. True. It but is like Formula One, it's all the cars could be different brands, but it depends on the driver, not necessarily the, the car. They do handle differently. So the US, 14 points out of 15, now all the pressure on Guatemala, if yeah. they do it correctly, then they will have two points. I, we will look at uh, Gotesk. She barely nicks the target from the backside. Right target. Well, on Waleska, she looks calm and steady, so. And she does she it. it. Guatemala 14 gets. hits for the United States of America and 15 hits for Guatemala. Perfectly shoot it. So now it's two points for Guatemala and it's a tie. Three points for all. Three points for all. Three points for all. As we previously said, the first, the first team that reaches six points, they wins. win the gold, the, the gold medal. What I'd like to see is a shootout. Oof! So if both of them get into six points, it's going to be a shootout. I think I don't know who who I could ask here, but I think there was a shootout in a team event in Cairo. Yeah, and in in shootout. For all the of the viewers, it's like penalties in, in it's like football, right? It's not just like penalties. This is like penalties. They get 15 targets and then they miss like the first five shots in, in football. And congratulations to Peru on winning also. Oh, thank again. you very much. They recently won yeah. against Paraguay Ready? and got the opportunity to enter into the World Cup. They still have a chance to go to the World Cup. Let's see what happens. It could be whether against Australia or maybe another yeah. country, the, the uh, UAE. I think so, but yeah. back to shooting. This is like the penalty shoot-off. That's true. But when it goes to a shoot-off, it's like the sudden death in the penalties where when one person misses, the game is over. Exactly. Now, Adriana's getting ready. She gets her target perfectly. As you notice, every shooter sets up differently. Like, uh, if you look at Waleska, she sets up her gun from a downward position right into her shoulder, where Adriana and uh, Stephanie, Stephanie come to the target, they, they set up their gun high and go down to their hold. That's point. true. And they even take more time. Some yeah. of them took all, almost all the, the 12 seconds, yeah. and some of them just asked quickly for the target. I think Stephanie asks very quickly for the target. That's true. And we saw yesterday Fernandez from Spain winning the, the gold medal event for trap men, and he, he he's the fastest shooter nowadays, right? Fernando shoots trap like Skeet. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. He barely mounts the gun before going to but the target. But it seems yeah. it works for him. It Maybe does for work. us it, it would, wouldn't work, but it yeah. seems he's doing well. It works for him. It's you go with what works. He and Fatima, talking about Spain, he and Fatima Galvez, they won a gold medal mixed trap event in the recent Olympics. 
It was a great win for them. So you can see that uh, Waleska sets up from a lower point and goes up to her hold point. Or it goes straight to her hold point. She doesn't come down like the rest of the shooters. No target. If you so the referee said time, so it seems she took more time than... No, 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 he, he, she, he can't give her a card because it's a no target. The urim, actually, the referee gave... No, there's no time. Come on, it's a no target. But the coach didn't ask for bar or anything. They no, just there's no bar. The, the, the yellow target. So it's no. already given, nothing no, to no, do. No, no, there, there's no yellow card. No target. But it seems... Call for the target, referee. You can't give her a yellow card for two no targets. So one more yellow card and it's... And I think it was a referee mistake. He, he couldn't, he did not give her a yellow it card. It could be, no. but did you remember ask for it? No. They should have stopped the timer. Great job, great job. Great job. Great job handling pressure. Browning, setting up. And she misses. So she misses, now yeah. all the pressure is on the United States of America because Guatemala has started. I noticed something that with the humidity in the air, the uh, shot pellets sometimes disperse some smoke and humidity that look like a, like a hit. So the referee confused that with the actual yeah, smoke I of kinda, the Yeah, I kind of saw it with Browning's shot. She was way to the right of the target. Target on the left, I saw But they didn't uh, hit the target. Yeah. I think so. Oh, now, now it's a miss for now Skinner. Miss. But I think it was like smoke on the right side. Of, it could be. We and it's a miss for the U.S. as well. No. The referee give it a good one. No. It's Guatemala now shooting. You know, just so, you know, watchers don't care. We're sitting really far out back. So we're doing our best to actually see the targets. That's true. And, and the right. referees are professionals. They yeah. are right away in see the target more closely and than us, as you were saying. And the monitor is no way near us. And under the sun, it's not even visual to us. That's true. And that's a means for Guatemala now. It's a tie. Every time there's a no target, they should reset the timer. That's true. Yep. But the coaches seem really relaxed, right? It seems they're okay with it. They're they, content. <laughs> yeah, they are, they are used to handle pressure as well, no? They, they have uh, seen their athletes compete in Olympics, World Cups, World Championships. They already know what they can do. And they believe and support them yeah. 100%. Do you think coaches should use like the VAR as a tactic to kind of confuse the other shooters? Could Just be. I mean, uh, in I don't know. Why not? In why not tennis, use they use it. Yeah, why not use the timeout for two minutes? Have your shooters slow down, especially have the other shooters kind of wait for exactly to get, and the get point. like cold. Especially as, as on the last three a, targets, you know, yeah. why not do that? Yeah. If you're, if you're, if they you're could use it back. as a strategy. It's totally yeah. legal in the sport. Yeah, it's use it. Just use it and, and to the limit. They use it in tennis when, yeah. when when an athlete is in momentum. They ask for a timeout or check again the ball, so it the athlete gets cold and maybe could miss the next. You see it also in other sports with the changing substitution of players. They take their time. So that's a this miss for for yeah. Guatemala again, and they're like tie. After this shot, it would be a good idea for the Guatemala coach to actually get a timeout. Yeah. Talk That's to the shooters for the last three shots. Put some pressure on. Uh, again, sh going for the piece. The piece was going up high. The target's definitely going to be lower than that. So we're going to see how she's going to do on this target. If she jumps high on top of the target. Oh. 
she tracked the target well, but as you can see as a viewer, you saw the target was nowhere where that piece was. Yes, yeah. it's different direction. Now they are tied. Yeah, now with it's remaining tied. only one one target for each athlete. You see how uh, Adriana comes from way up high till she reaches her hold point, and look at Valeska. Valeska Soto, right? goes down totally quickly. And then hits the target. And now you look at how straight her mount is. No target. No target. They Valeska have to repeat. just goes straight into her hold point. It's like three different techniques from shooters from the same nation that actually train a lot together. And that's a hit. That's that's a hit. He should have called for the VAR. Is the coach going Why to is the coach Why not, not calling for the VAR? Come on, coach. And that's a miss for the no, U.S. No. So all the pressure on the them right now. Why are they waiting to call for the VAR? I don't know. That could have been the game changer. That's true. For Guatemala, at least. And for Guatemala, for, for this one, yeah. Uh, she nodded her head when she got the no target. She's kind of under pressure. See how he sh if she hits the target, it's going to be a tie. One point yep. for each. Tie. Tie. tie, so it's four points for each. 12 hits for the United States of America and 12 hits as well for Guatemala. It's a tie. So four points for each of the ca countries. So basically, this next round... The nation that wins the two points win the gold medal. Exactly. Well, USA shooters are taking their time, drinking water, taking ammo. Guatemala already ready set up at the station. It seems as Guatemala wants to continue with the momentum and not yes. break it. And, and the opposite for US, they want to recharge energy and, and go again into focus. And they're fist bumping, they're getting some power. Yeah. It seems they are ready. It's this going to nice be a really nice team shooting. Event. Yeah, this is a nice thing about a team event. You get your team support with 100%, 100%. you. 100%, 100%. You get your team shooting individual. Each shooter's in a different squad. You're never together. They don't have the support of their teammates, right? Browning is setting up. She's bent a little more forward now. I don't know why. Have you noticed? Yes. What do you think? Uh, why? Uh, she got out of her... She just lost her self-awareness. Now all the pressure is going to be on Guatemala. They are close in this stage. Look at how she sets up. She comes down slowly from a high hold point. Gets to her hold point. No target. The moment she gets to her hold point, she calls Ask for the for target yeah. directly. It's like the opposite of what Fernando does. Fernando calls while he's going up. After you mean Fernandez, the Fernandez, Spanish yes, Fernandez. shooter, the one that won yesterday the yeah, gold medal. Fernandez yeah, Fernandez just closes the target, quickly starts moving up and calls for yeah. the target, where she slowly comes down to her hold point, and the moment she reaches her hold point, she calls for the clay. And you have Stephanie, Stephanie going down quickly, checking her hold point. And she does clay. it perfectly again straight upper target and she straightly mounts into her hold point Valeska and calls for the clay oh. and misses and she misses yeah but it's still in it's still it's still two. four targets for each yeah it's yeah you still in it it's only one miss for Guatemala there's still 10 targets left No target. Ready? 
<laughs> yes, we totally do. need an umbrella here. It's really <laughs> sunny today, but good weather to shoot. The it's clays, you can the see them. The weather's nice and cool, but the sun is brutal. That's true. On the last sequence, they kind of know where the targets are going right now. Because it's two targets to the right, two targets to the left, and one straight, oh. right? Yeah. That was a hit. Come on. Call for the VAR, coach. Call for the VAR. Uh, finally. Video bar. assistant for free. Finally, he calls for the VAR. And he reluctantly called for it. The crowd is screaming that it's a hit target. Yeah. What do you think, Saud? And the referee does the international bar sign that we know from all the competitions right now. Exactly. So now the referee and the jury members are going to see the replay in slow motion, high definition to decide where it's a point or not for them. Yeah, they're going into inside to the technical office next to the range. And they're watching the video assistant referee to check if it was a hit or not a hit. You can see the coaches looking at the VAR room, turning to the right, wanting to know what's going on. So the coach of Guatemala is standing and making some some moves and the, moving the hands. He's anxious. Yeah. He, it's he, too long of a time to, to watch the VAR, but it's not just in shooting. Even in football matches, we're seeing extended times for like 10 stoppage time minutes. 12 stoppage. Now both yeah. coaches standing. Yeah. So they are coming out of the office. We'll see what the final decision is. And it is a hit. It seems it's, it is a yeah, hit. We got They're a little nod annou announce it. from the people inside the VAR studio telling us it is a hit. Hit! hit. So the referee decides it's a hit. So Guatemala continues into competition. Six hits against five. But the U.S. still on the lead. Carlos, how many VAR calls did I shout right now before that could have changed the, the, the game? You know? Yeah, like the last one when they tied, one for one. But, I mean, it's the strategy. It depends on the coach. They have two bars. Uh, Guatemala just used one. Let's see how it continues. Yeah. We're back into competition. No We're having a lot of no targets right now. Ready? Yes, it could be whether the clays or the machines or... I, what count, do I count at 12 no targets right now. Yeah. Sometimes it's the way they fill the machines, like the and them putting them in the machine. And that's a miss for Guatemala. It's it getting complicated. It for doesn't them. put them in a good situation, yeah. That's true. Oh. And Soto. Hits Six the targets target. left for both teams, so basically. U.S. gets four targets. Their worst case is they could tie. So if this three goes through, it's kind of pretty much set. Uh, that's Taking a, a longer time than usual, huh? That's true. Uh. You know... We both are shooters. You know they know the scores, and they just try to forget the score to perform. That's true. Yeah. You know the score, but... You know the score. You don't need to think yeah. about it. You need to focus on your process, on your technique, and on the clay. Exactly. 100% of, of, of you. Bar. Oh, and it seems Bar. Call it's for a over. It's a hit. He calls for a hit. 
Wait, I was gonna call in for a VAR. <laughs> but it depends on the coaches. Yeah. So if they hit one more target, then it's over. Uh, it's it's over if they hit a target. Congratulations if they hit it. So. Uh. Congratulations to the U.S. on winning a gold medal. Yeah, they yep. have secured a gold medal. They've secured a gold medal in style. But we should wait. Oh. Coach Jay should get a. So got extremely excited. Almost got up. That's true. Almost got up. But both coaches look equally happy. It's a hit. USA got a perfect 15 out of 15. You can't get better than that. 15 hits for the United States of America and 13 hits for Guatemala. The USA wins the gold medal match and silver for Guatemala. Big round of applause for both of them. Congratulations for both nations on a really good final. It was a really good final. Yeah. Six points against four. And we got a perfect 15. Huh? Wow. And we got one in, in a previous. Yeah, so two perfect 15 in this very final. So we see they're taking the official picture of the gold and silver medalists, the United States of America and Guatemala. All the American continent should be proud because of tough countries that represent us around the world. We got teams from Europe and teams from Asia and, and they made it into a final in the gold medal match. They seem really, really happy of this achievement for both of the countries. This is your this is your now we see the final picture with also the bronze medalist. All Everybody's of the happy. So it's one more medal for the U.S. They are doing very, very well in this competition. For all of the viewers, we're coming back in a few minutes for the men's trap bronze medal match and after that for the gold medal match. So stay tuned. It's going to be amazing two, two matches. So see you in a few minutes. Bye bye.